Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangle Skeins Crafter. Um, I hope I don't sound too nasal. I have a little bit of congestion going on. I'll probably be snuffing a lot. I hope it's not too loud. All right, this is my um, monthly wrap up and future plans for June, July. Um, it's a few days late. I worked for 12 hour days straight and then today was the 4th well yesterday now since it is morning of the 5th and I finally have time to sit down and do my wrap up so what I stitched in June I don't know if it's what I had planned but because I, I haven't went back and looked at the video there's a couple that I stitched a little bit on and some I stitched a lot on I will try to put pictures up of everything I stitched on. I want to start with this one. I should have a picture up of where I started. Some of them I forgot to take pictures before pictures. Some I had to grab um, from previous videos. I didn't do a whole lot on this one. I think all I really did was some in here. So not a lot of progress. I tend to set them aside and then forget to take them with me to work. Actually, I think I might have... I have some over here. And I don't think I've done any on this side of it yet. I'll have to look at the picture. You can see on the back how much I actually have finished. Not a whole lot overall, but totally making progress. But anyway, if I don't remember to put them in my work bag, then they don't get a lot of work because I work 12 hour shifts. So I usually take two or three with me and then I stitch in whatever catches my interest that night. And then when I'm at home, I'm usually doing my schoolwork. So I don't have a whole lot of time to stitch at home either. Oh, I think I had planned on working on that one. And I think I had planned on working on this one. I'll put a picture up. And then, you know, that's what it'll look like. I did not do much at all on this one. I think all I did was some of this bright red. And that's it. This one, again, out of sight, out of mind. I put it to the side and just completely forgot about it. I'm going to try to do another stitch with me with this one this month. This one, I feel like I did quite a decent amount. I think I brought this to work with me one or two nights and worked on it. So I have a needle in it. And I just did some of the dark um, 939. And I think, yeah, some of the 823. They kind of, it's hard to tell the difference in them, but 939 and 823, I'm not sure if I did any of the other colors. If I did, it was, as you can tell, the dark ones, I didn't do any more of the light. But I'm happy with the progress on this one. And I plan on keeping this one out. So I can grab and put it in my work bag. It's one of those canvases that's kind of nice to work on. It's kind of stiff, but, but at the same time, it's floppy enough that I can fold it easy and work on it. It's comfortable to work on, that's what I'm trying to say. All right. Next was a new start this month. I think I just, un yeah, I just unboxed this in June. I love this image so much. And sorry, I get it right very up. I started on the bottom of this one. And I think I did a pretty good amount. I worked on it like maybe two or three days. You can get quite a bit done whenever you're just sitting for 12 hours. My client, I work nights, so um, most of the time he's 
trying to sleep. And I'm just with him for whenever he has to get up and go to the bathroom at night and then make sure he takes his medicine in the morning when he wakes up and make sure he gets his breakfast. So most of the time I'm left to my own devices. And I usually listen to audiobook and stitch or um, I got a new tablet and I'll download like YouTube videos and some Netflix shows and Vicky shows and I'll watch those and stitch. All right, next one. I think I worked on this one. I have an image up. If not, I'll cut this out. I know I took this with me. So I was really enjoying working on these pinks and purples. If I did anything, I didn't do a whole lot. But it was just more of the pinks and purples up here. It's a nice change from all the ones I work on with dark colors. I find myself working on a lot of black and dark blue, so I have a couple of these bright projects to switch out. Um, next was another new start for the month. All the links should be in the description box for any of the projects, any of the kits that have links that are still available. This was another one I just unboxed and I just, just absolutely love it. I've been looking at it for months I finally got it and I started on it. And this one is 14 count. And sometimes it's really dim where I am at my client's house. So the smaller the holes, the harder it is for me to see. So I really didn't do a whole lot. Started up in the upper left hand corner. As you can see, I just, and I would have got more done, but I realized I was doing the wrong collar and I had to pick out most of this and restitch it. That was frustrating. I have all these little ends I need to stick through and weave in. But I do, I, I love this one. And it's just some nice big blocks of collar. And then some smaller, you know, smaller ones. It's not anything too intricate. It's just when I took it to work, I didn't have much light, so I didn't get much done. And then I try to work on it at home while watching TV with my daughter who's home for the summer in college. And uh, I get distracted and end up not working on it at all. We watch a lot of dramas that are not in English, so I usually have to read all the subtitles. Uh, let's see what else. This one I worked on a lot. This has been one of my favorites the last few months. It has such a weird smell to it. It almost smelled like one of my cats peed on it or something at times. But it's this one, my big eye girl. Should have a picture up of where I started this month. And I worked mostly on the black. But I've done quite a bit through here. And then I did more black in her hair and around her face. And then I did some of the colors in her face. Got something stuck to it. And I've been starting down her neck. I can't remember exactly what I had done last month. So I should have the picture up to compare it. I love her eyes. I still have some collars to fill in in her eyes. And quite a few collars left in her face and then her hair. I'm trying to go back and forth between her face and then just big blocks of black. 
and this one is nice and mindless and I don't have to think too much about it and it's just it's really easy to stitch on this is my just relaxed stitching but I don't want to have to concentrate too much or fight really stiff fabric that's the one I pull out I keep this one in my bag almost all the time for work uh, let's see is that it I think that's everything I actually worked on stitch wise except for I had another unboxing or this one was in a yeah I haven't started the other ones so I started my red riding hood which if you go to my community tab I would have had this picture already and explaining but I was stitching and I was making really good progress because this was just you know during one day and I was really enjoying it and I had like several colors in her face three or four and then I get to that that horrendous orange and I was like that is not making me happy that is, that should not be that color I mean you can see that that is not right so I contacted the site that I got this from and I sent them pictures and I said that that is just garish that is not the color it's not a flesh tone it really shouldn't be in her face so they told me that they had redesigned it and they are going to send me another kit so as soon as I get that kit I'm going to start it again because I was really enjoying that one <laughs> and hopefully I'm in the mood for it whenever I get the, the new kit I think that's all the stitching I did I might have did very I don't think I did any on the little duck one which I'd planned to but again it's like 14 count and just tiny for me I have 18 count too still that I'm working on that I just haven't wanted to mess with but in other ones if you have noticed I have another little build with me video on my channel and it's this cute little avocado I thought it was adorable I keep planning on doing one of these a month and then it ends up being a couple months in between but I really enjoy those they're just my fingers are so fumbly with them so I think that's it for the month I don't think I did any diamond painting if I did I had it up on my channel so for my plans for July um, I'm going to work on some of the kits that I showed you and then there's a few that I haven't started yet that I really want to start um, this one I want to start is going to probably have to be set my work on at home because it is just so confetti heavy sorry for the snuffling and I mean it's got little chunks of collar but it's got just Every time I look at it, it just makes me tired. It's, it's, it's kind of busy, and I want it busy because I want it to look good. I just haven't wanted to just mess with it. So I might just start on her face, like the big block of color on her face, and just work from there. So I'll probably put this in my work bag for this weekend. I'm going to see about starting it. Um, I have the silk kit yes I hear you cat the silk one that I unboxed that I haven't started yet which I have beeswax so I'm going to um, use beeswax on it I thought I had it sitting here but I guess not but I want to start it this month if, if at all possible um, I want to start this butterfly and flower one I think it's pretty I haven't started it yet I'm just looking at the stuff around me. I want to do some more on my the um, the kittens with the strawberry the strawberry kittens. I want to work on those more. 
want to do another stitch with me with those, I think. So, should have another Princess Moon Day and another Strawberry Kittens up soonish. I might work some more. This one just hasn't really been calling to me much. The, um, this one, and I love the image, so I'm not sure why. I think I just haven't been like liking the colors I've been working on. I've been working on a lot of neutrals. Green grays, beiges. So I'm going to work on those, I think. Some of the ones I've been working on are still calling to me. I have a couple more kits coming. Um, I have a new collab that with a uh, side I hadn't worked with before. So that's exciting. But yeah, it's probably going to be a lot of what I've been working on because I've just been really enjoying those. I'm planning on doing another build with me. I think the one I'm going to this time is not here yet. I think the one I'm going to do is um, a little snail. Looks like Gary off of Spongebob. I'll try to put a picture up but that's on its way so I think I'll do that one this month it's just it's really cute I have a bigger one coming too and I have a bigger one here I have a bunch of these little build with me kits um, I started and stopped a little crochet bee the crochet bee kit that I unboxed on here I started it three or four times and my stitches don't look right so I need to sit down and see if I'm doing them backwards can you do crochet stitches like backwards because they didn't have the chain look that they were supposed to whenever I was doing the little circle start I, I can't remember what it's called magic circle maybe but every time I did it I'd get the right amount and then I'd look and it had like like a line around it of yarn instead of the the chain. <laughs> I don't know if I'm explaining that well. I should have left it in so I could have showed it or took a picture but it just was not working right. And it's a small hook, small yarn. Maybe I should try to use like a worsted weight yarn or something whenever I'm first learning how to do some of the stitches because I don't I don't crochet. But I really wanted to work on that and I have some more little crochet like imagurumi kits that I want to do. So I want to work on that bee this month. I just got to do it at home. I was doing it at work, watching the video on my tablet. I think I need to sit down with it on my TV. Um, or find a better tutorial because it's in Chinese, the instructions on how to do it. And I think the translation was not adequate because I wasn't understanding what she was saying in part of it. So I might look to see if there's another tutorial in English somewhere for the bee or for a bee in general. I think I saw one for a bee. What else do I want to do this month? I have some new latch hook kits, which I did not unbag or unbox. Let me know if you want to see what's in these, but I have a couple new latch hook kits that I was thinking about doing or maybe pulling out one of my old ones. I have some keychains, diamond painting keychains that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to do one on a video to see how it turns out and see how, you know, just review the kit because they're Dollar Tree, so $1.25 for these little diamond painting keychains. I think I have four, maybe five. Um, I'll try to put pictures up. And I think that's it. I think that's my plans for the month of July. And I probably won't get a lot done, if even all that, because I have plans for the very end of July and for the beginning of August, and I'll be out of state, so I don't know how much I'm going to get done. And for my wrap-up video, I don't know if I'm going to not have one or have it after I come back in August, or try to shoot one 
while I'm out of state. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I guess I will get to that when, you know, I'll figure it out when I get to it. So yeah, um, I think that's about it. I don't think I forgot anything. I hope this wasn't too disjointed. I think I'm getting a code. My head's a little fuzzy. Plus it's eight o'clock in the morning. So I'm a little tired. This is about what time I'd normally get off work. So I was trying to stay with my regular sleep schedule, even though I got up early today to cook for the 4th of July and everything. <laughs> Made some ribs, pasta salad. This cat is needing attention so bad. I don't know if you can hear it. So yeah, I did not finish my diamond painting that I was going to finish in June. So maybe I'll get a chance to do that, but school, my school, um, one of the classes, the due dates are different than what I'm used to. So I'm having earlier due dates, which shouldn't affect much, but it does. I'm having to like really hurry and get my work done because I don't have as much, many of my days off to do it. And I've been working more days a week. I'm working three or four days a week, 12 hour shifts now where I was working just two. I was working just Saturday and Sunday. So yeah, less time to do the homework and actually more homework because I'm in different classes now and they're not ones I wanted to take. I have to take, so they're not really interesting me. So it's just been a struggle to make myself actually sit down and do the work. I've been doing the reading and the note taking at work. And then like the tests and the homework here at home on my days off. Yeah, I guess that's probably enough of the, not really TMI, but my life update. Nothing really exciting. Lots of work. Hurt myself at work, but nothing too bad. Nothing for like work, workman's comp or anything. Um, went to a concert, which I think I uploaded my little edit. It was really good concert with my daughter. Going to another one this month, except this month it's going to be 80s. That's exciting. This will be the second time I've seen 80s. Haven't seen them for a few years. I think I saw them when they came to Texas before COVID hit. So it's going to be exciting. I'm really looking forward to it. All right. So that is it. I will say goodbye for now. Hopefully there's been pictures and interesting stuff up. Um, look for an unboxing video with a, a site I haven't collabed with before. Um, look for another build with me video. Look for a couple more stitch with me videos. And that, that might be it. Oh, and the diamond painting review. Whip and review. I just haven't had as much time to sit down and, and film, record stuff. And I want to get back to recording more. And maybe doing a couple, like do a diamond painting and a cross stitch video, record them in one night and then just space them out when I upload them. I'm not sure. Tell me what you want to see. Should I do, instead of monthly wrap ups, do more like weekly updates from my cross stitch and there'll be shorter videos, but you know, that way at least, you know, I'm getting content out. Oh, huh, let me see. Let me know what you think. And I will get off here. Like I said, hopefully it hasn't just been my hands and this screen or my mat. Hopefully there's been pictures and stuff. And um, yeah, just join it. I'm always so rambly. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for joining me again. If you haven't yet, please like, consider subscribing, um, share if you think you have anybody that would be interested in my content. And thank you so much. Bye-bye.